Hi! Welcome to DB Online English. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you a number of future forms in English. Several structures are used to express future such as present continuous, going to and will. Before getting into details, let's study some example sentences. Read these sentences. What are the time expressions? Can you identify them? There are several time expressions used to talk about the future and as you all know, time expressions usually go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. Here, the time expressions are placed at the end. This weekend, after class, later, and this summer. Now, I have a short task for you. Pause the video, read the invitation, and identify the future structures. Okay, here the highlighted structures are used to express future. Look at the first one. I'm having my birthday party this weekend. It's clear from the time expression that the writer has some plans for the weekend and the present continuous tense refers to a time later than now. The decision about the time of the party has already been made. The party is going to start at 6 and it's going to end at midnight. So the writer again refers to a future time by using going to. The last structure we see here is will. We will have a lot of fun. There is a prediction here based on the writer's opinion. So the writer thinks that they will have a lot of fun at the party. As you see, there are various ways of referring to the future in English. Now let's get into details. You can use present continuous to talk about future arrangements that generally include other people as well. It implies that more than one person is aware of the future event and that some preparation has already happened. Going to is another grammar structure used to talk about future plans and arrangements that you have already made. Now let's take a look at some examples. I'm having my birthday party this weekend. This is a party other people will participate in it as well. This party was planned before. Talia and I are playing tennis tonight. Similarly, this plan is arranged with another person beforehand. And at the party, there is going to be a DJ. Again, Rachel planned to call the DJ before the party. The DJ is part of the birthday party plan. The company is going to bring the food. Rachel also arranged the food company. The company's plan is to bring the food. As you see, we use present continuous tense and going to to talk about planned or personally scheduled events. What about unplanned actions? You can use will plus verb 1 to talk about future actions, but these actions are not planned. They may happen, but they are not planned actions. The future with will is used for a number of situations. We use it for predictions, assumptions, or expectations. Let's look at the examples. We will have a lot of fun. This is not a plan, but a wish or an assumption. Similarly, it will be delicious is a guess about the future. These cannot be plans. Or we will dance all night. This is an expectation rather than a plan. You can also use will plus verb 1 for on-the-spot decisions. It is used to express a decision that we make spontaneously in the present moment. Look at this example between waiter and the customer. Have you decided, ma'am? Yes, I'll have a burger. So the customer makes the decision at the time of the speaking. And the second example between grandma and her grandson. These bags are so heavy. Grandma, I'll help you. Oh, will you do that for me? Thank you. As you see, the boy decides to help her at the time of the speaking. That's all for today's lesson. Don't forget to do the exercise on Otti class. Bye.